my what? What did you bring to the harvest? Oh, tree? it's pretty much what it is is a is a is a, his, a pictorial history of, of the Shep Boardy plant when they first arrived in Milton and and started started organizing their business. In fact, the one picture in the book has them. They were on Broadway. You know, that was where they had the only place they had an office at the time, and that's that's where they set up things to get them rolling plant wise. And if an old friend of mine, Leroy Schweitzer, right before he passed away, he come to see me and he had these pictures with him. And he was a professional photographer. And he wanted to give them to somebody he thought would care, you know, would take care of them and, and uh, do the right thing with them. And that, that was me, I guess. So I ended up with, uh, it's, it's really pretty much a treasure drove of, of the history of the Chef Wardy plant with a lot of the people, of course, are gone now. They're all pretty much passed away, except this guy who just lives right down the street here, Paul Boardy, he lives on Boardy Lane. <laughs> and uh, the rest of them are pretty much gone. And, uh, you know, there's, uh, I think the pictures probably go and, and encompass everything during the war, World War II, until, up until the time they sold the business to American Home Products, which was about 1946, 47, something like that. So that's what it is. That's what I'm contributing uh, you know, to the 200th year. I'm a native Meltonian and uh, live, in, live in the Danville area now. But uh, I still bleed orange and black. <laughs> uh, for folks unfamiliar with Milton watching this video, what does your item tell them about your town? What do these items cover? It's just, just what I, I told, talked about, the beginning of the plant that actually is still going, kind of owns it now. And, and the way the organization with uh, many, many people involved, you know. Uh, one of the main characters is, I don't see the picture here, but there's one with uh, a man named Walter Wilson, who actually is the one that brought Hector to Melbourne. Uh, he heard about it, that, that Hector Boardy, who had uh, a restaurant in Cleveland, <clears throat> and he had heard he was looking for a place to start to manufacture his sauce. And, and uh, Walter Wilson got a hold of Hector and, uh, and told him that they had an old silk mill in Melton that was empty and he might be interested. And that's how he ended up coming to Melton and Chef Boardy is in Melton and Chef Boardy has actually made it, put Melton on the map. You know. and, the, and the main thing, the main reason that, uh, like when I was interviewed by CBS was a lot of people think that Chef, Chef Boardy was just a trademark. You know, he was a figure on a can, but he wasn't real. And this proves he was real. He was a man, flesh and blood. And, and uh, he was really quite a guy. Good sense of humor, intelligent, you know, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And a nice man. <laughs> <laughs>